Frank, could you talk a little bit about the Bucknell win? What does it mean for the team, and what do you take from it going into Saturday's game at Princeton? Well, certainly um, from a standpoint of just gaining confidence and a good feeling in the locker room following the game instead of knowing you left probably not your best game out in the field, which was really my feeling about the first three games. Um, but uh, just fighting back from that and getting that good feeling about getting a win and gaining that confidence and knowing that we're a lot better than, than, than we've done. Now, that being said, they all certainly know that we left a lot of football on the field. We still need improvement and a lot of work to do. But overall, we executed a lot better and, and uh, had a lot to do um, certainly with the result. To say they're on a roll is probably an understatement. <laughs> Anytime you put 103 points on the scoreboard over two games, that's, that'll, that'll leave your defensive staff and the head coach uh, without sleep. The hard part is they have plays where all three quarterbacks are in the game at the same time. A lot of times there's two quarterbacks on the field at the same times and then other times not. So they give you a variety of things. You've got to be ready for a lot of kind of out-of-the-box uh, package plays, as I would call it. I believe it's going to be a pretty uh, pretty confusing. Uh, they run no huddle a lot, so uh, me being, being a corner, it's going to be pretty difficult. So uh, I'm up for the challenge, and uh, we'll see. I think last year they caught us in the second half a little – a little off guard and we you know kind of weren't getting lined up fast enough and a lot of things but um those are the things that I, we took a lot of time to correct on you know we're just gonna have to prepare really well this week and uh just come out and do a great job on uh, on saturday